if there is a problem and you deal with it by constantly complaining about that problem, listing why things are not okay, focusing on things not being okay, the traffic is terrible. The cost of gas is insane. The, the price of housing is insane. There's violence in schools. There's food insecurity. If that is your focus, if that is what comes out of your mouth, like on a regular basis, then that is what your life is. And you can say I'm talking about the power of attraction. You can say whatever you want. But as someone who has experienced real food insecurity, like 5 to $10 a week for food, as someone who has experienced pretty, like, you know, homelessness, like, living with a friend's parents so there was a roof but had to like depend on someone else for a roof kind of thing just you know someone who's experienced things that you know don't look good i can say that it's the focus on things being negative that makes them continue to be negative are there exceptions? Is this a hard and fast rule? Am I trying to talk about science? N no. So, I mean, you can, you know, give me all your arguments to counter what I'm saying and people will and that's, that's great, whatever. But this is meant for people that want to hear because you make changes when some part of you is ready to make changes. Some part of you is ready to be open to, oh, that makes sense. I need to do things differently. Like if there is a problem and you say you care about that problem, but your way of dealing with that problem is complaining about it, then you are the problem. You are the person creating this problem. So the beauty of that is you can go and say, I am not going to be the person creating this problem. I'm going to be the person that is working to solve this problem. And so I'll give you examples because I'm an abstract thinker and others are not, and they'll give you specifics. So I'll give you specifics. So you live in a city like Toronto where rent is kind of going the way of New York City rent. It's getting really expensive. So your way of dealing may be to say, maybe I have to share a bedroom with someone for $500 a month and learn to be okay with that. Is it fair? Is it, is it necessarily even legal? Maybe not, but I'm going to do that while I'm figuring something else out and I'm going to be okay with that. I'm not going to let that tarnish and take away my happiness. Are you in a situation where you can't afford to buy food? As I said, I used to buy when it was cheaper, a bag of quinoa for the week, an onion, and a tub of yogurt. Again, now that would be way more than $10 a week, but at the time it was $10 a week. So I would live on that quinoa and yogurt and onion, maybe some oil for the week. And don't get me wrong, I like hoped that guys would like take me out on a date and then I would eat that meal. I can't believe I said that out loud. But otherwise, like that's what I would I would eat. And I 
said that I wasn't going to wear it on my face. I wasn't going to let it stress me out. I wasn't going to let it define me or I wasn't going to stay stuck in that place. And I, di I didn't. I didn't. You know, I was in a situation where I couldn't afford like a whole one bedroom myself. And I wasn't eating, you know, hardly anything. Like, it was a problem. So I said, okay, I'm going to move across the country where I can work at a hotel and I can live on site for almost nothing. And I'm going to, you know, make lots of money doing that serving, whatever, save it. And then I'm going to figure out something from there. And that's what I did. I left home. I went across the country just like that. And I made things different. It's not something that's, for me, it was fun and easy. Like, I don't care. I'll pick up and move and go on a vacation, travel somewhere totally by myself. Like, for me, that's, but, you know, those are not easy decisions. To leave your family and your province or state or city and just go because you know you have to. Like, that's what you're looking at. Cool. You know? I've never felt in a position where I really wanted a car. Like, for me, a large part of that is environmental. Like, this, that really weighs on me. But also, at the end of the day, you know, the type of work that I do it doesn't pay well. So, I, I live in a place where I can take, you know, the subway, the train, the, the, the subway, the train, my feet you know, the bus, the streetcar, that I can do that rather than have a car because I don't want the responsibility of having a car. Things go wrong with cars. Then you have to shell out all kinds of money. Like I've never been in a position to afford that. So I've just never done it. I don't complain about it. You know, if I need to go see family, help family, do whatever, I'm like, I'll take a fucking Uber. Or like, I don't know, do they still have those e-cars? What are they called? But like, oh well. So making decisions for your happiness, they're not necessarily the, going along with the social norms. They're not necessarily the easy decisions, but they're easy if you decide that your happiness comes first or at least make the decision that your misery is not going to come first or you're not going to allow your life to be miserable. Now, am I not aware that there are places all over the world that are, you know, f f experiencing such extreme suffering? Am I trying to judge or talk about those people? No, N not, not at all. That's completely outside my scope of awareness. Mind you, I do know that there are places, you know, where people have nothing. What we, what we decide is nothing. And they're much happier than we are in North America. They have community. They have, you know, they have joy. So, I mean, there's that too. But I just wanted to put that out there on this Friday. Because I feel like I've had a day where this message really hit home for me. Like, I really saw a lot of the discontent again today. Like, kind of all over the place like random events that happen and stuff and I just wanted to make this video before I make my other weekend videos. Why did I say that? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you so much everyone for watching. This is Cast Contents. I'd love it if you'd give this video a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.